que o que eu queria. E o que ele falou que achou que queria, eu ouvi dizer que está em um museu em Paris. What up, Internet? It's your boy, Rhino Rider. Back for another episode of Rhino Rider's vlog. This one, 041. Took a little bit of a hiatus over the month of July in the summer. It's kind of caught up on a lot of things, and uh, people are out of town or busy on other projects, and kind of waiting for August to get here, mid-August specifically, to start wrapping up some things and getting ready for the next season. What I mean by the next season is, at least in LA, the industry has a, a cycle, very similar to like a school year. And it kicks off in September. The two big festivals, uh, Toronto, Tribeca, both happen in September. A lot of deals going down, a lot of buzz starting for awards season. Then October, we get into, and you see better movies coming out. And December is a big, you know, uh, time than January and then Oscars and then uh, there's South by and the, or there's Sundance and then South by and then Cannes and then uh, June, July and then everybody kind of takes, uh, you know, the month of August off. And so it's a it's an interesting time. It's an interesting time. Today's August 1st, by the way. It's hard because um, you're not going to get responses from a lot of people. You're not going to get any emails or meetings or anything like that. So it can be a bit frustrating and it's under the guise of the beautiful Southern California sunshine, so it can be deceiving. Um, I just want to get a vlog, update you guys on some of the stuff that I've been doing that's been going on. So first, number one, uh, the TV series that I'm working on, as you've seen some of my previous vlogs, I've been outlining and stuff. I'm all caught up with that. And what I mean by all caught up with is um, Kaya, my, uh, the guy I'm co-creating the show with, has been in Brazil. It's actually really exciting. Maybe I'll cut to some of the footage if I can find it um, here. Amor, gente, e aí, pessoal, tudo bom? Tudo bom? Vocês conhecem aqui um lugar chamado Criminoso, Garimpo da Escravidão? Eu falei, eu conheço. João Taramba falou, eu também conheço. Vocês conhecem aqui um lugar chamado Sobradinho? Eu falei, conheço. Você conhece Bom Será de cima e Bom Será de baixo? Nós conhece, que foi um trabalho que eu fiz agora recente para o Ministério Público, né? Catalogando essa coisa da antiguidade. Sim. Aí esse senhor Henrique falou, ah, eu quero ir lá nesse lugar chamado Criminoso, Sobradinho e Cantinho. Mas eu quero que algum de vocês me leve lá e me larga lá. Porque eu preciso procurar alguma... A, a, Alguma coisa que está escondida por lá. E não falou. E não falou, né? É. Aí o que, que aconteceu? A gente foi, ele foi com a mochila, foi com o facão, levou o livro, né? Eu sei que resultado. Ele passou uma semana lá dentro e na volta ele falou, eu achei o que eu queria. E o que ele falou que achou que queria, eu ouvi dizer que está em um museu em Paris. So really exciting. He's been in Brazil all this month um, and he's been scouting locations and getting uh, some killer video. Uh, really, really exciting stuff. Um, and so he's going to be back uh, in mid-August and we're going to cut together some stuff and package it together. Uh, I, have, I have to sit down with him, a good two, three hour session, brainstorming and then maybe a week of, of fine tuning um, the pilot getting it all the pilot script getting that all secure and then i have uh three to five page treatments for each episode after that and um i feel really good about it we feel really good about it we're going to put together a really kick-ass package and then start sub send, submitting that sending that out in september so that's cool talk about waiting and waiting for that uh, ian bailey shout out he is uh, doing a play right now in Toronto. He and I have partnered on that addiction um, uh, story, uh, true story that I adapted 
Um, our option has about five, six months left in it. So I'm waiting for him to uh, be done with the play. He's working his butt off doing, you know, a bunch of shows a week. And, um, and that ends about mid-August. And then I'm gonna try to stoke those fires and, um, and get that going to try to get money for that story. I started, uh, I have a client. I started producing uh, videos, um, uh, digital, you know, for online for a YouTube channel and podcast um, for a company called Barlingual. They're based here in LA. Um, cut to a quick clip of uh, something I did right here. kind of jazzy. So um, I get to work on my technical skills, which um, are probably the, my weakest, uh, but I, I have a, I enjoy, I think I have a really good eye and I enjoy the process. I love doing it. Um, so I'm having fun with that. I'll link up uh, their channel down below. If you could do me a huge favor and subscribe to that channel, um, that would be amazing. It just started out fresh. It has has three subscribers right now um, but we're gonna be produ producing um, a lot of content putting videos up there every week so I've been doing that that's been taking up some time but that's awesome because I'm getting to be creative uh, uh, there should be two publishers lined up that I'll be waiting to hear back in September I got to give the month of August to let you know like I said the season go uh, about the graphic novel so that would be really cool yeah, uh, July was a really slow month uh, for me. So like I said, I was caught up and, and I'm so used to, you know, boom, 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 do, oh, I've been on Reddit uh, the whole last month. That's been taking a lot of time as well, doing, trying to, a couple hours a day, um, engaging on there. And boy, are there, uh, are there a lot of people who uh, are discouraged and, could and well I need and and have appreciated my words of encouragement and um, and just sharing my story with them uh, has really made an impact on a lot of people and um, it's very cool to see I'm very humbled and um, feels really good to do and I want to continue to do it more bigger um, I'm also working on a secret project Shh. Uh, that uh, won't come out till next uh, March. Um, I think if you've been following my content and following my journey for the last few years, that was a wink, by the way. I'm not like, uh, you know, having a seizure. Uh, if you've been watching, if you've been paying attention, you've been watching everything, you'll know what date uh, in March that uh, my secret project will, uh, will come out. So that's exciting as well. Uh, yeah, I feel really good. I'm really strong. I'm very focused. Like I said, I'm caught up with stuff. And so I'm trying to enjoy um, uh, uh, life on, a, on the day to day. Um, I built a uh, garden, uh, which is fun. So I tend to that. Uh, taking every single day, uh, I was talking about it last night. I said, I, I feel like I feel, I feel like I, I try and live an entire lifetime every single day. And uh, when I finally lay my head down on my pillow and I look back at my day, I feel fucking good. Accomplished and happy and motivated and I, and I get my rest and then the next day I wake up and it's a whole uh, another, it's a whole new day to just be able to cram so much more into it and do, uh, there's so much <laughs> time in every day. It's amazing. So I'm feeling very grateful. And again, it was it was interesting because July seemed like it went on forever. And maybe it's having that mentality of like, just boy, every day is a blessing. Um, that, uh, 
and but not having anything to like actively work and do, I was you know, um, but enjoyed a lot of time with my uh, kid and I played with him and um, it's been good. So like I said, August, uh, I'm going back home next week, hometown. Uh, what up, Everett? I'll see you soon. So get to see some of the family. Um, uh, that will be uh, you know uh, fun. And then probably about mid-August, I think I'll be starting grinding. And I'm excited because maybe I'll try to do another vlog. I, I've gotten some good response on the, on the ones that I did where I've tried to show my process in terms of breaking down structure or scenes. Um, people seem to find some value in that, which is amazing. I'll try to do some more of that whenever the writing comes. But just wanted to put another st time stamp on the journey of Rhino Rider. Um, Here's my vlog, episode 041, and uh, away we go. In the meantime, look at each day uh, as a lifetime. Uh, look at it as a blessing. Um, uh, the fact that you're even here and can have it. Um, so many of us aren't able to and, and don't nearly have uh, as blessed situation so just look around you if you're unhappy if things are bothering if you're noticing that you're just you know I don't know from one person who's experiencing life in a very positive way to anybody who ever sees this please uh, I, I encourage you uh, you you can change the wiring in your brain no matter how fucked up it is up there it is possible um, and it takes work every single day uh, but once you kind of get to a point, boy, is it really nice. My card just went full on my camera, so I just wanted to close it out. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Please, uh, if you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel. It would mean the world to me. Um, I can feel it. Uh, that, uh, I want to start produ or gonna start produ producing more content. I already have a bunch of content on there already um, to check out. So, uh, uh, yeah, just please subscribe. Follow the journey. And um, thank you so much for watching. Ryan Ryder out.